This is a Bandit Radio production. Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep things interesting. Welcome to Out of My League, presented by Bandit Radio. I'm Nick Diaz. The Saints fall to the Eagles 24-21 to on Sunday. And everyone I heard wants to blame the quarterback, Taysom Hill. And to me, that's totally the wrong take. Now, before I continue, I want to say I was genuinely shocked that Taysom Hill started over Jameis Winston from begin with. That's a Sean Payton decision, and I'll get to him in a minute because he's the main one I want to talk about. But talking about Hill versus Jameis Winston, I think Jameis Winston is more productive. I understand he had 30 interceptions last year. Will, what about 30 interceptions last year? Okay, I think those 30 interceptions are overblown. I did a whole podcast interview about it. I'll leave a link at the end of the video about how they're overblown. The advanced metric says it's a product of the system, and half of those interceptions weren't even his fault. Taysom Hill also fumbles the ball a lot. So there's really no argument in, well, you know, one person protects the ball, and that's why Sean Payton wanted to go with Taysom Hill, because he protects the ball more. That argument doesn't hold up because Taysom Hill has fumbled the ball ten times the last four games. Ten and I'd rather, in all honesty, I would rather have an inter- a quarterback who throws interceptions than fumbles a lot. And the reason being is this. It leaves, at least the quarterback who throws interceptions is trying to stretch the field vertically and make big plays. If you're in third and long or second and long, you're probably not going to get the first down nine times out of ten. So if you stretch the field vertically to try to get a big pass downfield, team intercepts it, uh, uh, the defense intercepts it, they run it back to like the 20 or 30 yard line. Well, that's essentially a punt. So I'd rather have interceptions over fumbles if we're talking about one person protecting the football versus not. None of them do that well. Jameis Winston is running you now a different system than he ran in Tampa Bay. I don't think he would throw 30 interceptions if he were to be starting from beginning to end this season. Now, having said that, Taysom Hill was still productive on Sunday, because let's talk about that game. Taysom Hill was still 28 for 38, 291 yards and two touchdowns, and yes, he had one interception. But 291 yards, only 10 incomplete passes, and two touchdowns, that's good enough to win in the NFL, especially against a crappy Eagles team. Now, he missed two or three throws down the field that aren't great, I get it. But this loss, to me, is not on Taysom Hill. The loss is on the Saints roster and specifically Sean Payton. Now, as far as the Saints roster is concerned, you don't get to be down 17 to nothing, should have been 20 to nothing, in the first half and say, well, you know, blame the quarterback. No, 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 no. You had one of the best field goal kickers in the league in Lutz. He missed two routine field goals. The Saints had a huge advantage on the offensive line and the defensive line. And they, as my high school coach would say, slop jarred through the first half. Act like they didn't even want to be there. And it was so obvious in the start of the second half that they finally came to play. So it wasn't a talent issue. And when you, and your team plays that poorly, it's not just on the quarterback. It's not like college. No win is guaranteed. And this was the Saints' bad performance of the year. Every team has one horrible performance of the year. And this was that for the Saints. They got it out of the way. Hopefully it will be their last. Now, what's more concerning though, for this reason, is Sean Payton's decision that he keeps on making as a coach. We talked about humility on the last episode yesterday. That has been Sean Payton's biggest flaw his entire coaching career. Is Sometimes he gets a little too cute, and he's letting his ego get in the way this time. It's not even the fact that he starts Taysom Hill over Jameis Winston. It's how he's using him. He is so hell-bent on playing t- J- uh, Taysom Hill like a pocket passer instead of adapting his offense to Taysom Hill's skill set with read options, RPOs, which I know Sean Payton can do because I've seen him do it and I know he has that in his playbook. But he is so hellbent on using Taysom Hill and proving that he can be a franchise quarterback for whatever reason. I don't know why he he, he is he's just so uh, obsessed with making Taysom Hill the full-time starter when Drew Brees moves on and retires after the season, but for some reason he does. Maybe it's uh, because other people have told him he can't. Maybe it's just because of personal reason he just likes Taysom Hill a lot. I don't know. 
But this is not a classic case of blame the quarterback for the loss. This is a much larger issue than just Sunday's game. It's blame the coach for how they use the quarterback. Now, can you win the Super Bowl this year with Taysom Hill? No, I think Drew Brees has to come back or you make a change to Jameis Winston if Drew Brees doesn't come back, which I think he will. Is Taysom Hill a franchise quarterback after Drew Brees retires? No, I don't think of that either. Same thing I said with Lamar Jackson. He is a red zone uh, zone read run first quarterback. I've seen this movie before. I know how it ends. It, you cannot sustain success that way. As a quarterback, you, it's, if, you're, if it's third and long, the defense knows you're passing the ball, you have to put your freaking foot in the ground and throw a receiver open. If you can't do that, you're not a franchise quarterback. But this loss is not on Taysom Hill because you, you could have won the game with Taysom Hill. The worst part is that it is a choice that you didn't. And that's on Sean Payton. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter at the Nick Diaz.